So, BG, welcome to another video. Let's see if there's some more Ace Attorney. Now, last time, Ace was accused of a murder. Like, he was the murderer of someone. And now, he's, now we're, we're going to defend him, even though I don't want to, because I do not like him. Also, the, um, there's a um, single bit of earthquakes. And. And also. There's a man there's man there's some little rumors going around saying there's a monster in God Lake. No, it's not the Loch Ness monster, it is not that because that does not exist. Okay, so let's go. This is this number is just seven twenty six. Hey! Karma. Hey, that's me. This is the seven twenty six, Boxing Day. Yeah. Karma? That's right, Mary's a gun pilot. He said this prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. Wow. He is a pro of prosecution, right? Of God. Not a single case? He could do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, it's not like someone else I know is worth. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, you could do anything. Mary from a pilot is a man to be feared. It's probably a claim of coming from someone who forges evidence. He told me what it really means to be. That really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as pictures as me, multiplied by a factor of 10. Uh, so, was he a teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now, and now he's trying to. He found he, he, he found guilty? What a creep. Guys, I turned it down because it was a bit too loud. Oh wait. Maybe he's playing on losing on purpose to help you out. No chance. He hasn't lost once in these 40 years. 40 years. I had to I had to say it, but Edward Edward has a point. I would, if I was that guy, I hadn't lost, 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 lost the case in 40 years, I wouldn't lose it on purpose. I have my 40 years of success. He's, ruthless. He's as ruthless as me. 20 times 20. That seems high, highly illogical. That's pretty That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess it's something like Mia was, was to me. So you have Mia. Uh, Maya. Uh huh. We can really use some Mia's help right now, do you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried, I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't... reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Well, hey, it's, it's me. Well, it's time, let's hear you. December 26th, which is, which is Boxing Day to everybody else. 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. It looks the same as all the other ones. Court is now in session for trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. This is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Ver, Mr. Von Kama, is the prosecution ready? Full. You seriously think that I can stand here when I'm not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. He's even the he's even got the judge scared. Very well. You have any statement, please. Decisive, ev decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could you possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. That, that should be fine. First, you may call his first witness. What's with this guy? He's like, he's like world, he's like, is he like world or something? How much does the fight against this? I call the detective in, the detective in charge. Of the case, this is the detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first, let's see how, how this goes. Describe the incident now. Y yes sir. So the gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please look at the, at the map. The murder happened at late Christmas Eve around midnight. There's a boat in the middle of the lake. 
There are two men in the blue man in the boat. Now, what, what happened was one uh, was one camping here on the edge of the lake. At twelve, at ten past twelve a.m., she had two pistols shot. The boat started to move. We went towards the rental shop. Hmm. Just try the call about the rest now. Well, well, wait, Mr. Moncala. Yes. Actually, I'm the one who's supposed to be handling the, these proceedings. Wrong. There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam your gravel and say the word guilty. Oh. Guilty. That is your role. Yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. A man called this station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in, at the lake. So we had to eventually arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your position of action, attorney. Now! I'm going to forward on his fifth statement because, that, because he said he slightly out of body, so he, he, was, he was very vague on that. So I want to hear more about it. So I want to hear more about that. He's very vague on it. Hold it! Did you find any clues on the body? A single blow was, was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart. F f uh, f what was that? Fatally. Fatally, yeah. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bones, its shape was well preserved. Very well, the court accepts the bullet into evidence. I'm actually going to press this statement just to see what goes down. Hold it! Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. In other words, a gun. It's yet to come true. There's a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've already, you've already seen this. I'm going to press it on this statement as well, just to see what happens. Hold it! Well, if we still made it... Just to devise evidence. Sighted him. Sighted him, whatever. You know what I mean. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Ah, uh, he has the same evil love as Edgeworth. Except that he's worse than him. These are fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? Order, order. So, Mr. Edgeworth, fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this weapon is, is in question. Accept the deemed evidence. Nice. Members of the court, we now have a pistol used in the murder weapon and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from the pistol? Yes, the, the listing markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey Nick. What do you mean, what does he mean? Ballistic markings. Shocking. To imagine someone who does not know how to basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. <laughs> Just very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Eh, uh, me? Eh, uh, ahem. Listening markings on the... on the highlight are like... fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive markings on each bullet it fires. You can examine the... ballistic fingerprints to which the gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. 
This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found the, in, in the victim's heart was without doubt fired from the pistol. The pistol which is, was made of a call was covered by the defendant's own fingerprints. Order, order. This is bad. This not the most looks like the Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge, I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare it a verdict at this point. However, do you wish to hear the witness speak, speak no doubt? Very well. I am somewhat fati fatigued, and so I will be taking a brief break. I will call the witness. I will call my witness after the recess, which will be, which will last ten minutes. Judge? Yes. What are you doing? A ten minute recess now. But wait, I. Just bang the flimsy, flimsy gravel on to get on with it, man. Yes. Ahem, this court is taking a minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? This guy's worse than Edgeworth! December 26, 1109 uh, a.m. District Court, uh, District, District Court, Defend Lobby number 2. And well, what's going on here? The fingerprints were on the middle weapon. Uh, hmm. And before you follow me, that made th one thing quite clear. No one could have shot the man was the person in the photo. True? True. I'm oh, sorry, that's what I asked you. True. What was, in the, what, what, who, what was that, you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But he must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? You weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. But but Edgeworth was the only one there though. Oh, that's true. He was the only one there, the other guy was there. Huh? How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say, Maya? Huh? What? Any photos of Mia? Oh. Sorry. It's no, it's no good. Ugh. I know. I'm no good with it for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I may not, may not, may not be here, right? There's no way I know I'm gonna say, yeah, you're useless. No way. So I'm gonna say, no, I'm, I need you here. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually, actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? You don't, need to make, you don't need to make me feel better. I don't know anything about this trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit of me who can't even contact with spirits. Oh, everyone has the off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. We never know what my when your luck was going to run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, right. Don't think it's the case that anyone it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Call is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lot Hard come to take the take the stand? Ah, oh, ah. Oh, do you guys remember her from last episode? Lot Hard, are you a associate at the you know, university? Yeah, yeah, I am. Ah, oh, yeah, you love her, are you? Uh, good. Begin telling us what you saw the night of the incident, and don't add anything trivial or sub what? Trivial or subjective. Understand? You don't need to learn some manners. <laughs> understand? Yeah, I understand, I understand. <laughs> yeah, very well, you just made me please. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard the bang come from the lake. Bang. 
I can't even realize I've two days in a boat. And there's another bank. There wasn't an only thing on the way for that boat. <laughs> Enough. Huh? Judge? She haven't taken the photo of the incident. This is the photo, except this is evidence. Well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Order, I, I will remove the people from the courtroom if I do hide and not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There was no other person on the lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who shot him. Yes, it is the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order. I will have order. Well, Judge. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Very well, the court finds the defendant, the defendant. Objection! Wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross examined the witness yet. A cross examination? You have photographic proof. What, what, what question could it possibly be? You have photographic proof. What question could it possibly be? Photos worth a thousand words, and, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or, do you claim they found a contra contra contradiction in her testimony? Very well, if you have to, you may cross examination the witness. You only, only stand that you're asked meaningless, meaningless questions. You will fail and find, uh, you to find anything. And I'll have the have, I will have you held at in contempt of court. I find it. contempt. Contempt of court, you know. I guess I understand. Well, what are you gonna do? Do you re really think you can? There was a contradiction with her facts and testimony. Honestly, I think there was. I think I noticed one little thing. But well, I'm impressed. I, I, didn't, I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I've got a bad theory about this. I understand. I'll cross examination the witness. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Very well. I pray for the sake of the. This is the rest of time. I'm impressed with the second statement. Because she said she heard the bang, but it was inside of the car, but then again, yeah, she, she then, again, then again, yeah, bangs are pretty loud, but I should just see what happens. Hold it! Why were you coming there anyway? I researched you, buddy, at me at my university. I was taking pictures to you as my in your research. What research? This is all sounds suspicious. I'm gonna, of course, press further. Miss Hart, could you be more specific about your research? Prediction, really? What does this witness body of like in camp near the lake have to do with the case? The answer is nothing. I object to the, the line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait, I'm the only one who says that. <laughs> well, then say it already. Objection, objection sustained. This is nothing, Your Honor. <laughs> And yes, I was thinking, I was thinking that. I'm going to press her on a fourth statement because she said that she saw the boat, but if you guys remember, wasn't it really foggy? So how could she see the boat? Hold it! I'm trying to be quiet because my mom's trying to sleep. Could you, could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh oh. Then we're going to press further. Wait a second. I was asking about the photo. I was asking if you saw the man. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. I'm oh, sorry, objection! I have to say it. You better look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. 
He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. I'm not pretty sure this time because I is she saw that there was nothing else on the lake at that time. Hold it. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it shows the country thing I can be. That sounds pretty sure. I'm going to the first fella. How can you be so sure? Well, I think I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It always sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. You saw it, you... Oh, come on. It's right. The witness have answered the question in full. Mm hmm No need for further questions. Objection sustained. Uh, that's why I'm... Sustained. Yes, of course. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do now? That there weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Nick, if only my sister were here. Why is really taking this hard? I really have no idea, sir, no idea else what to do, so I'm gonna press this one. Hold it! So you were looking at the lake at the time? No. I looked out for a head noise, a noise. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions. Not leisure to chat with the witness. Ugh. I use this one to. Are you sure I should? Okay. Hold it. Are you watching, are you, are you watching the very road in the shoulders right now? Well, yeah, sure. Shut up. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions. This is right, not mean, mean, meaningless babble. Come on, come on, I think I hate you. <laughs> You're trying to keep me from taking the witness to the end, to what will end. Enough. I think we've heard all the needs to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems like the only way to find a contradiction in the testimony worth worth nothing. So, but your honor, you keep your, you keep your promise, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid I'll have to penalize any further outbursts. By holding you, by holding you to contend in court, if, and if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood? Uh, uh huh. Nick? Well, this testimony was, was fishy. Real, Nick, real, real fishy. I know what you mean. But if I can't say anything worth, worth what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Roger Hurst, please take to the stand. Hold it. Uh, who was that? It was me. Maya? Is something wrong? Do you need to use the facility? <laughs> no, I do not. Look at heart. It says something stinks. It's unclear whether you were actu actually looking at the lake. It's highly doubtful that you, you could actually see it if she saw Mr. Edgeworth. Tell us the truth. It was a matter of life or death. Butter? Did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeworth that night? Or did you see him fire the pistol? You will stand down. The court does not need not to know the, the defense outburst. Answer me a little. Was this thing I was thinking of changing the item for a criminal? I saw it, I swear it, I saw each word. Enough. Judge, declare the fitness is in the contempt of court. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. God, it's got to the right out of the courtroom. He's in contempt of court and must leave. No, but I didn't do, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, my idea. Wait. I was the one who made that first, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Ha. Huh. What's the difference? Well, that reason to be guilty of verdict already declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix? Right. I'm gonna say it's wrong. 
Wrong. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart said just said? She said she clearly saw Miss Edgeworth. That's not, that, that, was, that was not in the testimony. I changed her testimony if I had the right to cross the examination her. Ora, 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 ora. You are in the court, it's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my, my objection. I'm sorry, Mr. McCarr, I can but I cannot. What? Miss Lawyer has made a new testimony. The defense has the right to cross examination her again. But he doesn't come to the court. No, I am. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. Hmm. Very well. My FA, you will leave the court courtroom immediately. Nick, I don't know, I don't know, did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. Maya? I care not for the, that melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I am not tolerate that battering of my witness. I'm running out of time. I better find the contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin on the cross examination. That's it. Uh oh, I didn't find anything in that. But I can't. I can't spot the maze. I think that's either. So, I think they said the lake probably. Is that the thing Maybe I should present the lake photo because in the photo she says that she that she saw it, but in here you can, you can clearly see that you can't really tell who is who. So I'm going to present that. I'm going to present this. Objection! Got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. What? what? You got what? Look at this photograph. The photo I took? The very same. There's something I wanted to I want you to see in this photo, but it's quite clear it's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So so? so? The picture was taken with professional high quality film, right? Of her all correct. Yet, we could have captured the faces of the women in the road. Yet you claim that you saw Miss Edgeworth. How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her to say that in her testimony, please. Yet now, she has. It is said, Mr. Von Hall. How did you possibly see this worth? Explain yourself, Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said I could, and then I could. Now, please testify as the circumstances of your sighting. I did. I finally found a hole in Mr. Von Hall's carefully vague testimony. Yeah, right. It was a cold night, and the fog was thick as grits. So once I finished seeing my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise outside, I looked at my binoculars. See, no problem. Hmm, you used binoculars? Very well. Maybe we you use the beginning of cross examination, Mr. Wright. It's not very good. The binoculars um, statement is not fishy, so I'm going to press. I'm going to object on that one. Hold it! Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that they were looking at the stream stars, correct? Well, yeah. What do you need the telescope not for that? Not, 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 I've got doubts about your camera too. Was that really a take pictures of the memory in the shower? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You, you can't say that for certain. Hmm, Mr. Wright? Is the camera really relevant to this case? 
If you believe it, then you may continue with your line of questioning. But know this. If I find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Almost, almost, right? Did you wish to progress any further in, the, in this talk about the camera? I don't know if it's up. This is making a break at time. The camera is the most important genre. It is perhaps the key to the entire case. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Well, maybe I was a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, we testify to the court without uh, the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera set to take you to the media shower. You know what? I'm not actually very sure of this statement. Let's just see what happens. Hold it! Mr. Mr. Hart, Mrs. Hart? What made the. What made you choose to take the look for the lead like it to photograph me at media? You know the focus stick and the like is not very suited for stargazing. Well, yeah. You see, I. I guess I wasn't thinking too straight, but... Mr. Wright, I will not have you go through my windows because of her challenge to intellect. Then wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was, uh, how you saw me in the saw Yeah. Well, no unnecessary comments, please. I'm not supposed to carry on on this one. Objection! You are photographing shooting stars? That's a lie. Says who? I saw the camera you saw yesterday. It was pointed directly at the light. You had to point the camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Mr. Smart. <sighs> Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness that was not on the like of the photograph shooting stars, you know? Well then, what is that what is that what are you photographing? Show evidence. You know, take a look at this. That was if his house trying to photograph the light. I'm taking a picture of the of this of this um, article here, just so because that's what they're trying to get. Take that. Yeah, Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy. Ah, oh, the sign of the gold lake. Well, Miss Hart. I I didn't hear that. I want to see. You got proof or something? I see a proof that I was down there trying to photograph that Miss Gordy. Of course I have proof. I have proof. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you. Very well, let's see. And no drinking around this time, please. What is the proof of the witness trying to photograph Gordy, the light monster? I'm going to visit the camera again because I'm pretty sure that, that this, this is going to work. The proof of my heart is, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take the photos of the light, of the results of the light no, noise, correct? That's the photograph here, and it was taken from the gunfire of the lake. And here, the article about Gordy. According to the article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set the camera to respond to the loud noise. Well, order. I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Miss Hart, you were coming there to start taking a picture of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. 
Not bad. Are you, uh, are you really smart? So smart for it. I was never trying to throw your hurry. You got me. So what? Huh? That didn't change my sword, does it? Exactly. We, we need to use several precious minutes at a time to prove. There's nothing more than the witness is an idiot and thinks monsters exist. Hey, hey. But she is so succulently said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. We were hiding the whole thing, the whole thing I got you for for some reason. I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of it, of this. Now, before I start the start of the on, she has her house as Miss Hart there. I'm really she's related to Kevin Hart, the actor. I have the same last name, so, so maybe she is. He's all fake people. Well, why did you hide the fact that you're searching for Gordy from your court from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll just fight. I won't change nothing though. Something will change, it has to. I'm going to split it. Actually I'm not a research student at the university. I only listen for you talking about. Legend was she from here like a picture of that monster. That's why I was keeping out by the way. That's why I was hiding. I heard the bang and looked straight out of the lake. I was not like to see. So I watched the boat the whole time. I saw a crash, the other man's head, and that other gunshot. I was really right in the boat the whole time. Because my heart had to fry. Fr fr hmm. Well, Mr. Ryan, make this video in your cross examination. Okay. A oh, what? Who is this money is unchanged from before? Whether a research a student or a photograph has no bearing to the object of this case. There is no need to waste more time without another pointless cross examination. Uh, hmm. I claim the defense right to cross examination uh, examine the witness, Your Honor. One carries up to something, I know it. He doesn't want to be a cross examination because why? Uh, was, was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin your cross examination. He seems to show you there's something in line. Ha, huh, this will be a first. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You understand that he's, he's the last chance to at the cross examination, Mr. Wright? If there's no problem with this money, the time we will have to we have to let, let, let the witness leave. I will announce the verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, sure. Enough. I'm actually going to present the Gordy article on her seventh statement because something that about that doesn't seem right. This one. Objection! Mr. Hart, I mean Mr. Hart, sorry. Were you really looking at the boat? Well, what's with you? Of course I was looking at it. Is there anything out there? Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you're far from normal. But what? You don't want to step over here and say that? You can't be that late to picture of Gordy. Think about it. Why would you do that if you had a loud noise? You were scared of the lady from inside Gordy. That, that's what you would have been. You would have been, wouldn't give that part a second thought. Ah! Well, see you, Mr. Wright. You think you're justified that you'd be watching the boat with two monoculars? However, you wouldn't need not here to watch the boat. You need them to search for glory, and that's what you were doing. Well? <laughs> well, now that you are mentioning it, I did sort of take my phone on this and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, glory might be out there and all. Miss Hart? Are you saying that you are not watching the boat then? So sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing really. I was just, I thought you know I could be a witness to a murder and all. I can't get excited. I'm sure I was watching that boat till now. 
This, this is totally uncalled for. But hey, you got the burger, you got proof. Hmm. So we can't see who the shooting was, was of though. Right, right. That's why I took the photo in. Witness, that's enough. You've heard you had one day. Shoot the pie hole. <laughs> Shoot my what? What was she going to say? She took the picture and what? Wait a second. She even photographed to prove it. This is a flashback, guys. We can't really tell from the photo who was hot and who was shooting. That's why she said that she's going to enlarge the photo. The photo. She said it will jump the photo uh, behind Mike. What should we let us see who's who? She enlarged the stuff about that photo. Why wouldn't Ron Carmel let us show it? I've got a hunch. I bet the enlarged photo will show something bad for Von Carmel. This is my chance. If I'm wrong though, I mean, it would be because of the that Mr. Edsworth, or worse. What should I do? I'm gonna, um, make it show you a larger one. Miss Hart, look at this, look at this photograph. You enlarged the photograph, did you not? Yeah, I did. Why was the larger one not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are you talking about? You won't even tell me that show the story in the first place. You are a fool. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Monkama? Uh, um, Miss Hart? Show the photo of the court. Show the enlargement. Of course, you didn't object, uh, object to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show, will show the large number to the court. Yeah, it is. Hmm. We well, still cannot see who is firing this. It could, it, could, it could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I accept this as evidence. Have you now, right? Hmm. That has to be something. You want the enlargement? You got the enlargement. And a little good has it done, any friend of us. That's why I reckon she see you show it. Hmm. I suppose that means that cross the cross examination is over, obviously. Now I'd like to do a close cross examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And, and none too soon. That was a, a flagrant day. waste of, time, of my time. Mr. Wakama, do you have anything to add? I say everything I need to do when a trial that has begun. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could you possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it's time to move to the clear my verdict. Wait, this is, not, this is not supposed to go like this. There's a clue in the photo somewhere. This, this is bad, real bad. What should I do? I'm going to, um, object the enlargement. Your Honor. There is something decidedly decide, decide strange with the enlargement. What would that one might that be? Mr. Wright? You will show the court what you mean. And what about the... This photo is strange. Okay, here's something. I will show the judge what strange that is in this photo. See, hey, I'm going to... I'm gonna present his hand, because as you, if you guys can remember, Gumshoe C used his, his right hand, but here he's using his left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose his hand. Take that! Here you are, The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter? It's strange. Look at the hand that's holding this to you, are The hand? The hand directly contradicts the back piece of evidence. The man's left hand that does what? Let me, let me show you. I'll show you evidence left hand contradicts. I'm going to present this pistol because, as you see here, the guys use his left hand, right? But right here it says, it was right hand, right? It was actually the left hand he was using. So I'm going to present the pistol. 
The evidence is clear. The main photograph is not holding his on his left hand. However, the prince of the murder would have been shown over his right hand. There we go. The man shooting his pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Now that everyone in this courtroom is quiet down, I would like to re re acknowledge the in vain. the this court of law. Mr. Wright? Hey Sharma? You are given a defend this defendant proof proof today. Now we know Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leads us to a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth did not do it, then who shot the victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other heel on the lake that night. But who the defendant could have shot the victim? Who else would witness but Mr. Laura Hart? What? Do you have proof of this? Proof for me is always with the proof. Oh wait, I... Mr. Wright, I have to remember... You know, this, court, this is the court of law. Uh oh, the judge is mad. Let me ask him again. How the defendant who could have shot the victim? I'll say it was the victim, victim himself. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order, order. So, are you saying that it was the victim who committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed. Does that seem to be an only remaining option? I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? The examination of the victim reveals the distance of the which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. There's no way you could have been suicide. Order, order. Mr. Makama, are you sure there's actually a, a little bit of Of course. I, I already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Hmm, I see. Very well, and I need to say my opinion. Considering the situation of Shuma had been defended in Edgeworth, however, the prison began to reveal that the shooter was not with Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I'd like to sus suspend the proceedings for trial for the day. To go in order of defense of the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. December 26, 1 15 pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew, that was a close one. Hey, do you think you have anything to say? No, I have just been defending this right. Well, yeah, but. What happened out there at the lake anyway? If you commit a committed suicide, then who did? And who? The shooter, the shooter was a leader away too. What did you do that look? Hey, look, kill him. I was just kidding around. Hmm. Look, I'm going to go to check on my app. Oh, right. What? Tell us something for me. What? Tell, tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Will you tell you to just say how you really feel? I would thank with a thank, thanks as well. I request I request a transcript of Laura's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see this. Did she didn't see the shooter? Sh sh but the only part of her testimony her shot was was, was the thing she heard.
Express for another video. Leave a comment below and let me know if you want to play some more of this. Click subscribe, it's somewhere around me. Whatever it is, just leave a thumbs up. I've lost so much to I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, peace.